Hello, it's Lucy, and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am back with my trusty blender, about to show you how I make one of my favorite frozen treats, mango ice cream. And it's just two ingredients, believe it or not, and it is absolutely delicious. I can't keep it in the house long enough because my son just goes through it. But that's okay, we got plenty of mangoes, even though we're at the tail end of the mango season, there's still plenty of mangoes to go and that's okay by me. So, to get started, in my bowl, I already have some chunked up frozen mangoes in here. And I have my sweet and condensed milk. And that's it, those are your two ingredients. The sweet and condensed milk and the mango chunks. And in my blender, it actually holds nine cups. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use five to six cups of the frozen mango chunks to a can of um, sweetened condensed milk. Now, about the sweetened condensed milk, I personally, I don't really care for it that much because it leaves a little aftertaste uh, to me that I never cared for. It's kind of off-putting to me. But I find that the mangoes are so sweet that it just doesn't let the sweetened condensed milk overpower it and I don't taste it at all. So I absolutely do not mind uh, making this mango ice cream this way. I absolutely love it. And you're gonna see what I'm talking about. And it's, it's easy, you know, with today's inflation and the prices being what they are, ice cream is super expensive. I know it is here in Puerto Rico. Even before inflation, it was just very expensive. Like a good, you know, pint of ice cream can cost you anywhere to five and nine dollars. Uh, never mind a half gallon and forget the hogging dogs gallon. That's like $25 and I'm like no ma'am Not I I'm gonna figure out how to make my own ice cream to enjoy because I am not leaving that supermarket My heart on earn money. No way, but with that being said, let's get started Like I said, you're gonna use five to six cups of frozen mango in the blender and Sweet condensed milk. That's it. So let's have at it. My hands are clean. And I'm just going to pick up my mango and put it right in my blender. As so. I love this Ninja blender. I'm not sponsored, by the way, uh, because it has the double blade. So it really helps to get all those frozen chunks, um, you know, blend it really, really well. So here we have about the six cups. And I'm going to go ahead and open the uh, condensed milk. I buy this on sale. I'm not picky, as I said, because I'm not a big fan of condensed milk, except for when it comes to this recipe. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just pour that right in there. Just like so. And it is so delicious and creamy. And I'll show you what I use to put these in because I don't put them in a large container, but I put them in these little containers that I found that, you know, they're individual uh, portions. So that's wonderful. I got my lid here. I'm going to put this on and see if I'm successful because if you've seen any of my other videos, you know me and this boy sometimes just do not get along. But I'm going to go ahead and put it on medium and let it rip. I 
I don't do it yet. But the body can do it. But anyhow, let's see. Let me stop this and see how it did. And oh my God, people, look at the consistency of that. That is just creamy, delicious. Oh my God. Mm. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. This is delicious. Oh, I love that. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh my God. I want to just go back in there, but that would be nasty. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait and be patient to put that in my containers. But I may, may have a little bit in my little dessert glass cup that I have right there because this is just too good to not have right now. There we go. Oh my God, it's just so, 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 so creamy. So, these are the containers that I said that I have. These are styrofoam. I know we're not crazy about styrofoam, right? But it's what I found. They were like two bucks. They were cheap. And in my defense, I keep using them and using them and using them until I cannot use them no more. Until they have a hole in this thing. Throw me away, Lucy. So, I have these. See how they're, they're nice and uh, small, nice for one serving. And they come with uh, tops. Now, I already have mango ice cream because, like I say, I keep using them over and over again. And my son knows better than to throw them away. And they just close up like that. They're really good. It freezes up the ice cream wonderfully. So, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and use my big old cucharon here and put some ice cream. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Just, just delicious. Just delicious. Oh my goodness. Here we go. And that's, that's enough. Oh man, I wish you could see this better than what it's really showing. So I go ahead and I put them in my container and I keep going until... No, I'm not. I'm not going to keep going because I have a little bit in here for myself. Not so much, but i got to treat myself to a little bit, right? Because, oh my God, this is so good. Look at that! Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. So, how quick and easy is this, people? You cannot get a dessert as delicious as this in a frozen aisle in a supermarket. No, ma'am. No, you cannot. And this is definitely the best way you can go. Now, I'm pretty sure you could probably do other frozen um, treats like that with just the uh, uh, sweet and condensed milk. I haven't tried any of them because, like I said, I know that I like this with the uh, sweet and condensed milk because the mangoes are so sweet. Because when I cut them up, I let them go to the ripeness. So I get a nice sweet mango. And so that's what overpowers uh, the condensed milk. I don't taste that at all. But this is a delicious treat. I hope you guys try it at home. It's that easy. It's inexpensive. And I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm going to finish my mango soft serve, right, because that's what it is right now, and enjoy that before I continue making the rest of my uh, mango uh, ice cream. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and like always, God bless and take care. Bye-bye.